Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu jtanibu kathiran min al-dhanni inna ba'da al-dhanni ithm. O you who believe, keep away from so much or a great chunk of al-dhan, which is certain conclusions and suspicions that we have about others. Because some of our conclusions, some of our suspicions, some of our thoughts and conjecture about people constitute a sin. And this is a great directive from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it's a way of life. You know, one of the main factors that ruins the lives of billions of people is su'udhan. To have evil suspicion and evil thoughts about people. Evil thoughts about people. The scholars of Islam have always said something to the effect Al-Mu'minun Azharun Wal Munafiqun Azharun. Al-Mu'minun Azharun. The believers are ones who find excuses for others. They always have, they always arrive at good conclusions about why people do what they do. So you make a mistake, you wrong them, you cause some kind of discomfort, you do anything. A believer would always assume the best of you that you have a valid excuse for behaving that way. So one day you, you meet them with a frown or with some kind of disrespect. Straight away they calculate and they say, he must have had a bad day. Maybe something bad happened to him. Maybe he's not feeling well. Maybe his mind is busy. So he didn't pay attention. Whereas the hypocrites, they search for your mistakes. They rejoice when you make something wrong. They're happy because they found a treasure, something they can take against you, something they can, they can use against you. When you make a mistake, they feel good about themselves because when you make a mistake, they assume that they are better. So we should check ourselves. What is my response to people when they do something wrong, when they fall in an error, when they make a mistake, whether it's in religion or in personal affairs or any worldly affairs? What is your automatic response? Is it to be happy? This person made a mistake. I'm better than him. I caught him. I always told you he, that he's a bad guy. And that's the proof. So they're happy with that. That's a sign of hypocrisy. That's a sign of a sick heart. Hypocrisy. Su'udhan. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu jtanibu kathiran min al-dhan. Inna ba'd al-dhanni ithn. Whereas if your immediate response, when someone falls in an error, they make a mistake, what well, you do straight away, you find an excuse for them. They must have, there must be a reason why they're behaving this way. There must be a reason why he treated me. It must be a reason why he did not reply my salam. There must be a reason why he feels angry. There must be a reason why he's so frustrated. There, mu there must be a reason why he has a frown on his face. May Allah make it easy for him. May Allah give him a way out. And to take it a, a step further in goodness, get out of your way and go and check with that person. Is there anything I can do to help you? Is there anything I can do to support you? Let me know. I'll be there for you. Having husn al the Prophet ﷺ would always assume the best in people, even when they wrong him. He would not arrive at negative conclusions. He would always arrive at a good conclusion. Because a negative conclusion shows that you yourself are not comfortable. You yourself are not stable inside. And this is why the poet said, or the Arabs usually say, كُلٌّ يَرَى النَّاسَ بِعَيْنِ حَالِهِ كُلٌّ يَرَى النَّاسَ بِعَيْنِ حَالِهِ Each person, they see people and they perceive people based on their perception of themselves. So a liar would assume that everyone else is lying. A thief would assume that everyone is trying to steal. A manipulator would assume and expect from everyone to be man trying to manipulate him. That's how we see people. We see them as we know about ourselves. So we project our reality on people. So when we have su'udhan and evil suspicion of people, that shows that we have so much corruption inside of us.
Do you know what fuels Surah Al-Dhan? What fuels Surah Al-Dhan is Shaytan himself. One day the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam كان يمشي مع صفية فمر صحابيان في الليل فقال على رسلكما إنها صفية قال قال يا رسول الله أترانا نظن بك شرا أو سوءا قال إن الشيطان يجري من ابن آدم مجرى الدم من العروق The Prophet was walking one day with his wife Safiya It was night time, it was dark Two companions pass by, they give salam and they walk away with so much shyness and bashfulness, they don't want to interrupt the Prophet ﷺ. The Prophet ﷺ says, hold on, this is Safiya, it's my wife. They said, Ya Rasulullah, we're not going to have doubts about you. He said, Inna shaytana yajri min ibn Adam. Shaytan runs through the thoughts and the mind and the body of the son of Adam just like blood runs through your veins and your arteries. That means shaitan is on top of you all the time, throwing evil suspicion, evil thoughts, evil conclusions about people. So from now on, to make this practical, let's not keep it as theory. From now on, practice on a daily basis. When someone upsets you, someone acts suspiciously, give them excuse. Someone gets at your nerves, give them excuse. Someone misbehaves, give them excuse. One of the early generations, one of the Salaf said, Find out, create, manufacture for your brother 70 excuses. The first one doesn't work, second one. Second doesn't work, third one. Third one doesn't work, fourth one, and so on and so forth until you reach 70. So from now on, everyone, every time someone gets at your nerves, or does something that disturbs you, something you have evil thoughts about, all you need to do is say, he must have a good reason to do this. Something is pushing him because people are fighting battles in their private life that we know nothing about.